So the garden started here in 1834, but it was a bare hillside and one man leased all of the islands, it's called Augustus Smith. He built his home on the end of this hillside and then he started a garden above an old ruined priory and he found that it never got cold here. So five generations of the family since then have built this garden to be a unique type of garden with plants from every Mediterranean climate zone of the world. Nowhere is like it. We have the Gulf Stream that comes by that warms us. We have lovely sea fogs. We have just the right amount of rain. And when you can shelter from the gales and the wind, then you can grow all of these wonderful plants here. I've always been drawn to plants from the warmer climate zones. Not tropical, but Mediterranean, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, California. And that's what I can do here. I'm very lucky. I've got a team of nine and I head that team. I've been here for over 35 years running the garden, sort of supervising and, and bringing everything together. A normal day here isn't normal. I have a fairly structured day, but living on an island, even though the garden is static, it doesn't move, island life makes it completely different. You never quite know what you're going to do. You have things in your diary. The weather might change, the tides do something different, boats don't arrive, tools break down, plants flower that you don't expect, you rush off and get your camera. My favourite time of the year is most of it. In January and February, the garden is still full of colour from all the South African and Australian plants. In March and April, it's the plants from the Canary Islands. In May and June, it's plants from everywhere in flower. We have a little rest July and August, and then off it goes again into the winter flowering plants. At any time of the year, you can see something special. You go in different terraces here on the top terrace. We're full of protea plants. In the middle of the garden, you have the most wonderful spiky plants from California and Mexico. And lower down, the big shady trees from New Zealand and Chile. And I think that's the exciting thing about this garden. It never disappoints you. Now, I've been here 35 years, and so I won't be here forever. But the great thing is that this garden's been in the same family for five generations, and we're already planning for the next generation to gently take over the running of the island. And I know that the team here will carry on and look after it, and the family will continue into the sixth generation to do exactly the same, which is fabulous to know when I'm sat on a rocking chair somewhere with, um, thinking about how long I've been here and what a great time I'd have.